Hi viewers, today I will show you how to uh, install the latest update for Samsung Active 2 which will having the list of new features which is the uh, view to max, fold detection and more improvements on handling the messages on the watch so which is a cool features uh, features um, which I was expecting for a long time um, so let me show you today I got this uh, update in my phone so here you can see all the list of uh, features which will be installed on your watch so let's start begin with the installation okay so so my watch is getting updated here So it's getting updated. The installation has started in the watch. Once it is finished, I'll show you what are the new features and how the um, the auto max and uh, fault detection is working. Okay, installation completed. I can uh, I can see a new app here, which is uh, Samsung Health Monitor. Let's open that. Okay, it's saying to record an ECG to monitor heart, you need to download a um, Samsung Health Monitor on the phone. Okay, just tap on the download, <coughs> then you will uh, you will see the app to be installed on your phone. Just install it. Let's see what's what's happening. Okay, let's close go back and open okay let's open the app <clears throat> okay let's connect to the watch continue okay it's it's asking a lot of permissions here so uh, what I would say is um, um, so it's asking permission to use electrocardiogram you can allow individually or you can provide uh, access to all okay so it's asking uh, uh, to create the profile uh, let's create the profile and uh, continue okay so i have created the profile so it's saying get started so it has a, a couple of um options here <clears throat> so just give the uh information about what the app does so just give next 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 so you just need to choose which side you wear your um, watch just give next so it's showing how to record the ECG oh this is good that uh, ECG is working or it's been enabled for uh, US do that okay okay Yeah, it started recording the ECG. That's great. Let's see. Okay, so I think I moved my um, finger. So you have to keep it there for uh, 30 seconds. Okay. That's good. So it recorded it. So you can add. None. So whatever you want, you just choose it and um, add it. Let's see it on the phone. <coughs> okay. So it shows on your phone, and it shows uh, what is it? So it shows it does not um, show any um, arterial fibrillation. So which is which is good, I think. 
So for fault detection, you just go to the SOS, make the fault detection on. So you can choose to whom you want to call, make SOS call. If you make it enabled, so it will show uh, which person you want to call them. So the person name you can choose uh, from your uh, contact list or anything. So that will do the um, SOS call if you if if Galaxy Watch directs you you just fall down. So that's a cool feature. Okay, so the update says that it has a, a VO2 oxygen, blood oxygen monitoring. But it's supposed to be shown up here, but I don't see it anything on the Samsung's health app. Uh, but I don't know. Uh, it's supposed to show here as a one, one option here, like <coughs> together or water intake like that. We need to have one more here to measure the uh, blood oxygen level. But it's not showing up here. Uh, but instead of that, uh, we have this ECG now, so which is a cool feature. Um, I will keep you posted on um, if I see any changes in my Samsung's health app for the blood oxygen level. And if you have any questions, just let me know or put me in the comments. Um, I will reply as soon as possible. And thanks for watching.